What's poppin' everybody? This is Sarah Rolf 4 Just finished watching the 2018 World Championship for the Pokemon TCG. It was exciting as always, cool as always. I watched so many Pokemon TCG games. I basically watched everything from all days. Just stayed all day and almost watched everything. I don't think I've missed anything really major. I even watched some of the VGC stuff. Now, before we talk about the Masters Division, which is the most important division, uh, the stuff that I focus on, uh, for juniors, uh, Naohito Inoue from Japan uh, won with Buzzle, Lycanroc, Buzzle GX, a standard the standard Buzzle GX deck with Lycanroc GX uh, you would expect. Uh, from seniors, uh, Magnus Peterson from Switzerland. I really enjoyed their game with uh, Connor Peterson. Uh, he won with uh, Benetti GX and the good old Trash Lanch Garbodor. With, uh, he used the Garbodor with Garbotoxin too. A good psychic deck, even had a Wobbuffet as a tech. I really enjoyed their game, it was pretty good, and the guy was pretty chill, pretty cool. Even gave the second game when he thought, you know, time might be a thing, and he was confident he, he had game two. If he didn't get lucky with opening up with the Drampa GX, he was running that too. But it was a great game, I really enjoyed watching the seniors. And actually, one thing that I want to mention is that I've noticed on the North American qualifier 2 and on the world championship it seems like the seniors and juniors division the lower divisions buzzle gx and fighting you know that, that fighting dude they're more they're more dominant they make it to the top cut they win Matt, uh, connor uh, he was also using a, a buzzle fighting deck the new the new sort of fighting uh, buzzle variant deck with garber we're going to talk about it later and of course for the masters divisions uh, surprise uh, robin schultz uh, won uh, from Germany, using, of course, Zorok GX with Garbodor, both of the Garbodors. Uh, the deck is just too good. Uh, it, I was really rooting for Jeff, of course, since he was running the Malamar deck, even though he was, had a lot of techs and not exactly in my sort of Malamar list. But, you know, I was rooting for the guy. He was pretty, was pretty cool, pretty chill, Canadian dude, uh, even though he didn't have the credentials of Robin. But, I mean, it, it was hard. Robin basically won 2-0. And it just goes to show you, uh, Zorok GX is just too damn good. Uh, I did a poll on the Amino a couple of weeks ago, I think. Yeah, I don't remember. It might even be a month by now. Asking what do people think was going to win Worlds. And I, I gave a bunch of options. Zorok GX, you know, or Quasi GX, Malamar, Buzzle. And I put other two for hopefully some good shit like Electro GX. Ah didn't see shit too bad and you know most people that probably know me that I love Rayquaza GX they would think that I would vote Rayquaza GX but I really just thought man I, I want Rayquaza GX to win but I really think that Zorok GX is going to take this too it's just the deck is just too good because Zorok GX is just so flexible all of the decks that try to build the tech against it like the Malamar that teched in the Marshadow GX's then you just you don't have a good solid attacker, maybe, and uh, you know with all the techs and stuff, your consistency gets hurt. And you know you, you try to tech to fight a specific Zorok GX deck, and then you know it just has so many options. You know the decks that tech in to fight a specific Zorok GX deck might have gotten their asses kicked from another Zorok GX variant. I mean with the Cargo Galissapod, the Garbotoxin Lycanroc, you compare it with so many things. It's just the deck is just too good. Now, I made a little chart here for the top eight decks. I'm going to talk about them a little bit. There was a lot of variety in a lot of different countries. Uh, Zorok, Jix, Garbodor, uh, Germany with Robin Schultz. Of course, he won. Uh, he was in the top eight, too, of course. Then there was another Zorok, Jix variant with Galissapod, the Galissapod Zorok, Jix deck from U.S. I believe his uh, Brian, I forgot his first name. Damn, I'm just so tired. It's late at night here in Cyprus. Requaza GX, there was actually three Requaza GX decks. Uh, the US one, Pedro from Spain, and uh, the Japanese guy, Shuntao. I, th I think he was running a, a Requaza GX deck, actually, as well. I'm not completely sure with that dude. And it's actually seven decks, a uh, question mark for the other dude. But we got Malamar, who was in the top eight, of course, with Jeff, Canada. And good old Clive was a fan favorite. I was rooting for that guy, too. I thought it was going to be pretty cool if he won it. Uh, pretty funny story, man. I love the, the interview. The guy was just like pretty cool just going into the tournament. Yeah, you know, just normal player. 
Uh, don't be afraid of the pros, the experienced pros, you can do it too sort of thing. I'm just pretty chill. He was running Zargar GX. So a lot of different decks. You got three to two Rayquazas. I'm not 100% on the Japanese player, but I think he was running Rayquaza GX too, from what I understand. You got Galissapod GX. A lot of people were surprised with Zorok GX. The good old Zorok GX Garbodor. A Malamar deck for people really doubting Malamar. I think there was another one in top 16, if I'm not mistaken. And Rayquaza GX, good presence, three decks. So seven of the eight decks I, I think I have here. Now, watching all the other games going into day one and day two, there were a lot of ties, it seems. I don't know if it's a time thing or maybe it's just uh, the players really were focusing on ties. And I, not, I don't think it's that. It's just sometimes it just happens players are evenly matched like that. I think time is enough, but with a lot of these... Uh, Decks, of course, a strategy, you got to think things carefully. Shit going on as well with the judges and stuff. It takes time. But anyways, there were a lot of ties for sure, if there's one thing I got out of that. And uh, there was even a fucking Greninja deck. <laughs> Man, it, it came close. It didn't make it a top 8. Maybe thank God for that. Or maybe actually it would have made things even more interesting if it went into top 8. It would have made things very interesting. But yeah, fucking Greninja, man. Putting in the work, making it so far. Close, not quite top 8, but it really did quite well. Surprised a lot of people. Unfortunately, Takuya Yaneda didn't make it. Man, that guy that guy seemed to have it when I watched this game. His, his feature match. Uh, it's just too bad. It just seems like there's always some sort of... You know, with the ties and stuff, you get unlucky. You don't make it the top 8. It's just the people that get the wins, of course, are going to make it. And the new deck that the Australians brought in, but a lot of people actually caught wind of it. The Buzzle, normal Buzzle, the non-GX one with the Garbodors, the Trash Lunch Garbodor mainly, as the other attacker. Now, I was thinking about this. I made a video, but I never uploaded it because I thought you know, it wasn't that great. But I always thought in my mind that, you know, coming into the World Championship, it was going to be the time where Buzzle GX was going to have to prove itself. Because I, I really thought, I think I've mentioned this on the North American Championship, is that you know, Buzzwell GX doesn't necessarily have as great as a matchup as people think against Zorok GX. It does have the weakness, of course, but you need to get the one hit not got. If you're just going to do like 50, 70, something like that, and just do a lot of damage, don't get the one hit not got. You know, Zorok GX can retaliate, can heal, can do all sorts of things. And thanks to trade, trade in, Zorok GX is the deck in, the, in control, basically. You know, it really is the faster deck, the, the deck that can control the game and. Just do all the shit. And this is why the new Buzzle, the regular Buzzle deck with Garbodor makes a lot of sense. Because, you know, the 30 extra that you do on the bench, you know, doesn't matter that much when your aim is to basically have a good counter to Zorak GX. So, having that ability to have a Pokemon that has, okay, 60 HP less, but only going to give one prize. And even have the benefit of Sledgehammer when you have four prizes. It's just too good of an asset. It's just the trade-off. For a second prize is is a no-brainer. It's just a better overall Pokemon, a more reliable Pokemon, consistent Pokemon. So I think it was a great idea to just use the normal Buzzle there and pair it up with Garbodor. Man, Garbodor, both of the Garbodors, ever since they got released, the Garbotoxin one and Trash Lanch one respectively, have been fucking things up, man. They're finally going to rotate out in this new season, and I hope they don't reprint them again, either one. I mean, oh, one of them, the Garbotoxin one, is going to leave, I guess. The Trash Lunch one is still going to stay. Very powerful, man. Uh, the Garbotoxin one, of course, locking out those abilities. It's just so great, man. A great partner with Zorok GX. It can give you that sort of speed in the beginning, and then when you want to lock out abilities, you have that option too. It's just so flexible. It won the North American Championship, and it got Worlds too. <laughs> it seems too good. The Trash Lunch one pairing up with Buzzle, the regular one, just a great pair, a great type type combination, type advantage there, hitting key things for weakness, just cheap attackers with good HP, only give one prize. It, it was a good deck, it didn't make it I think in the top 8 unless that one dude was playing it, that I don't know his deck list, uh, I don't even know where, what country that flag represents, but you know, I, I, I got all the information I could, it's just where the... Now the tournament finished, the champions got crowned and shit, and uh, this marks off our first year uh, of me doing YouTube 
talking about the Pokemon TCG, being serious about this. Our first season is over, giving me these vibes, these OG J Wits vibes <laughs> of these old videos talking about the 2010 recap and shit. But yeah, it's my year that's done as well, the first year. Uh, there's so much more Pokemon TCG I have to upload. Uh, just coming out with the new season now, rotation. Uh, so many topics we need to cover, talk about, you know, the new format with the rotation. Good shit. But as you guys realize, you know, Rayquaza GX, a lot of people had doubts, but it did make it in the top eight. I think it was a no-brainer, the deck. People figured out how to use it. Uh, the Spanish dude kind of really got lucky, to be honest. Uh, he wasn't going to make it in the top eight. That uh, Alessandro, the Italian dude, if he didn't fuck up on the uh, list when he wrote the list of his deck... He might have been the top eight. Things might have been differently, but you have to account for these things too. I mean, he should have gotten a loss when you make such mistakes, as far as I, I'm concerned, at least. Yeah, he got lucky with that. He still won a lot of games. Ended up losing to Jeff. It was a pretty great game. All out, fucking uh, crazy item, Rayquaza GX Turbo deck. It's sad that the Rayquaza GX had to knock out the other Rayquaza GX deck. Whatever. It is how it is. And... You know, Malamar, I'm really happy. I was really rooting it, rooting for Malamar, but it just it didn't make it. It's still pretty good being at semifinal position, being coming up number two. You know, a lot of people, they had doubts with it, North American Championship, and it made top four easily. And people had doubts uh, once again, and it made second place as well. Uh, the deck is just, it, it is good. People think it's slow, but you need to have the right list. You need to play it differently. Uh, the way people just think you had got to play it. Like Jeff, he wasn't running Bridget. It's a card that I don't run either. You just kind of build the deck differently. Uh, you have to rely on uh, Lily, rely on uh, drawing a lot of cards, getting your setup maybe with Nest Balls, getting a bunch of Pokemon in the beginning through different means, and then drawing a lot of cards. Trying to basically minimize the turns you need to set up, and then, you know... If you start getting one-hit knockouts, got the field blowers at the right time, the deck is quite good. Uh, it's not as weak as people think. It, it is a top top deck, and it really deserved to come at number two with Jeff here. It's going to be quite strong coming in the season. A lot of people think it doesn't have a good stadium. I think some of the commentators were talking about. But uh, with Ultra of the Moon, it is a perfect stadium for the, that deck. You don't need to run Parallel City. Just attach psychic energy to one of your dudes, and it's basically you got fairy treat again. You don't need the float stone, so it is it is good. It's definitely not going to be very hurt from the rotation. It's got a lot of options, but I think I'm going to wrap this up. Basically, Zorok GX1. It's probably going to keep winning, even with the rotation and the puzzles. Man, man, Robin with the puzzles. They just came through to him so many times. It just goes to show you. Uh, that card is, is very broken. It's a good thing they're going to ban it. They banned it, and it's going to rotate out anyway. It's it's just too good. I mean, if it wasn't for the puzzles, you best believe uh, Zorok GX wouldn't be as good as it is in Standard. And, I mean, in Expanded, it's freaking broken. It has the X to work with as well. It's Tier 0 over there. But the deck is just too good. I really feel like the deck is still going to be Zorok Chicks, of course. For as long as it's going to stick around, it's going to be quite good. Maybe it's probably going to have to evolve a little bit with the location. Uh, surprisingly, Macargo Zorok GX didn't do as much shit. I thought it was going to be... I thought maybe it had a good chance to be top 8. At least top 16. I'm not sure if it made top 16. But, you know, Macargo Zorok GX is definitely a very good combination as well. Very good. But yeah, congrats to everybody that won. Uh, I really enjoyed the... I think I enjoyed the Seniors game more than the Masters one, but Masters one it was pretty good. You know, Robin did all he had to do. Great player, of course. Consistent deck list. Uh, a lot of his choices, not running Ultra Ball and shit like that, I agree with. The players just... The credentials speak for themselves. Uh, Jeff tried to put up as good of a fight as he could. Uh, it's just Rock GX. I think most people knew in our hearts that, you know, the deck was going to take it. I did root for uh, Malamar, but I knew that, you know, it's it's going to be difficult. Zorok had the advantage with the Garbodors and stuff. But yeah, congrats to all the people that won. The champions. Another great world championship. Good stuff. Pokemon TCG. I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys subscribe. Leave a like. Share this with your friends. Say Bro 44. 